Okay, hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. And this video is not investment advice. So this video is another <clears throat> reading chart, how to read candlestick chart, uh, understanding candlestick chart video. Uh, because we have weekend assets, uh, the assets are closed and um, so I have no uh, OTC market because I'm a European trader and we have no OTC market and so I cannot show you any kind of live trading videos. But um, I want to educate you and I want to uh, show you how I did those kind of trades which I have based on support and resistance because I got so many requests about this that I uh, do now this kind of videos because yes uh, there was so many questions uh, of the understanding why I should to, why I took a player to call why I took a put all those kind of stuff so okay um, uh, that's uh, yes all those are trades and all everything what I'm uh, telling you here is based on those things which I have explained in my ebook. So get this ebook, it's for free. You'll find the link in the description. This ebook contains the most important candlestick pattern chart, pattern and binary option, global trading concepts, micro condition, trend identification, rejection, candlestick mass, and a lot of more concepts which can be applied to any kind of time frame and any kind of financial instrument. So get this ebook, it's for free. You'll find the link in the description, and in the description, you will find also the link to the Facebook group. I have have pronounced the, um, the description so uh, strongly because I got always questions about where to find this ebook. I don't know. I'm telling you over almost uh, over 700 videos, and I'm telling you all the time in the description. And there are always uh, you uh, traders who are asking me where to find this ebook. In the description is the link. Okay. So okay. So let's start here. Um, I have prepared this kind of video. Important here, let me uh, explain you, you the first thing which you should uh, immediately understand. We had a similar um, uh, condition like the previous video, yes, where we got here a squeeze, yes, a small consolidation area, breakout, yes, a, a, a Bollinger breakout. Then we got here the breakout of the 50 EMA, and then we got here a pullback from the 100 EMA and uh, if you see something like this you should know that we are coming from a downtrend yes because you see the alignment of the EMAs the 20 the 50 the 100 and then uh, somewhere here above the 200 so we are ha having an overall downtrend a major downtrend and we have a pullback from the 50 EMA yes and uh, now there are two possibilities yes or we, we, we do a retest of this level here yes somewhere here a retest and then we're getting here something what looks like a double top yes or we break through this area here yes um, and that would be here break through those one and then we would continue to going down yes also uh, that would be those kind of conditions or we got a rejection and we go here up yes if price will reject from the 50 EMA that are the possibilities yes depending on this running candles which are doing yes this candle shows here this candle is showing buying pressure this candle is showing buying pressure too yes because we have here this kind of flat 50 EMA so that is a market condition maybe we are getting here some kind of ranging I don't know but uh, for those one who do not know this we are at the moment in a consolidation area between the 100 and the 50 EMA so uh, what happens here can be that there will be maybe something like a doji or something like this yes because we are here in a consolidation area and that is almost always a possibility because you see we have here this kind of level this is a support a support level we have here this kind of level due to this kind of um, uh, of wick and so price can move here in between up and down up and down up and down and at the end it will maybe close here in between i don't know so let's see what's happening uh, i uh, and what kind of trade i have done in this kind of consolidation area so yes i'm doing a call because i understood from the rejection that price will go up yes that we are here in a consolidation area yes and you see price is moving up uh, and uh, yes 
and it's rejecting also there. And you see it's closing or it's going down to this level here. Yes, you see how uh, this kind of area is acting here. Yes, the consolidation area between this 100 and the 50, and price will be here in between. Yes, that is a risky, risky place to trade. Yes, uh, for a but because we have here almost ranging market. Yes, it was in the money by hair. Yes. Uh, but it was not uh, the best possible trade to do, yes. But I traded this because I saw the support and resistance level based on the change of polarity, yes. And then I decided to do a call because I saw this week here, this week here, which showed me that there are buyers still waiting to enter into this trade and this week here too, yes. This is also a week which does this kind of confirmation. So, uh, then I didn't enter anymore in the next trade because I was not sure what happening, yes. Uh, we have, uh, let me see, we uh, did I zoomed out? Yes, you see, we are coming from a downtrend, like I have explained. Yes, you see, that was uh, also, and so um, you can expect that here somewhere will happen something like a reversal or something. Yes, because this will be now the retracement of this major downtrend. Yes, which you have seen when I have zoomed out. So let's see what's happening here. Price is doing a little bit of difficulty between the uh, 100 EMA and the 50. Yes, and you see we are still close to this, but it looks like a fake breakout. Yes, and uh, I have already the mouse over the higher button, uh, the lower button. Yes, and on this kind of nice entry point, yes, above the closing price of the previous candle in direction downtrend, yes, in a put. Yes, I entered into a put there uh, with a nice margin of safety, uh, expecting that price will uh, reverse from this level. Yes, uh, because of the consolidation area and that fake breakout of the 100 EMA. This week here, this week I'm showing this to also in the video. You see, I'm telling you always the same thing. Yeah, I showed this also in the video. This week was the reason why I entered here into a put, and I have understood that price will uh, reverse from this level. Yes, because this week here showed me that uh, they are stepping in the sellers. Yes, and that was the reason why I entered there into a put. And also, I have explained this also that uh, often. Um, if you have such kind of scenario here, yes, such kind of scenario, and you see some, some kind of minor downtrend, and you see also that we have here after uh, this one uh, uh, reversal from this level at some key level, in this case the one deviation point, but you should expect here a double top. The same is valid for a double bottom, yes. You here in this kind of area, here in this kind of area, you should be aware what these candles are doing. Yes, if it's showing a reversal candle or it's showing such something like here, yes, or a continuation, then you do know exactly if there will be a breakout. Then you go with the trend, or because it would be a one deviation a Bollinger Band. Um, pullback or you enter into a put if you understand that, that there will be a reversal or if you have here some kind of EMA or other key key levels close to this. Yes, this is also important. Um, so this candle is telling me in this case only one thing and that is put. Yes, um, I'm drawing there something but I would do a put in now in this kind of condition because that uh, because we closed below the 100 EMA, we have the support and resistance level, yes. We have a major downtrend, and so this trade would have been a put. Uh, I don't know why I didn't enter into this trade, maybe because I was explaining something, yes. Uh, but this was a nice put to trade, because that was a, a sign that there will be a reversal happening, yes, and that this kind of double uh, top will unfold, yes. And you could have, you have, would have done, a, a, had a nice candle here, a nice big candle as confirmation. So, okay, uh, um, so I waited here for the next one, and now this candle is breaking through the support and resistance level. Yes, I'm drawing here this, um, I'm doing, drawing this a little bit closer. So, okay, now we got here this kind of inverted, uh, bearish hammer. This bearish hammer is a trend continuation pattern. Yes. And because I have explained that you all, and this can be seen here as an evening star. Yes. And uh, you see how price is moving up, down, up, down, up, down. And as soon price was above the cl previous candle closing price. Here, above the previous candle closing price, I entered into a put to get this kind of small margin of safety 
um, for the case that there will happen here some kind of doji because you see here at this level was already a doji here was a doji yes and at the end it's similar to this video what I have explained before yes we have here a major downtrend we have a pullback here last time in the last video it was an evening doji star if you remember here we have a double top Yes, and after this, you can expect that the trend will continue to going down. In this kind of condition, you can do also your five trades, five minute trades. Yes, a nice five minute trade from this level um, uh, would be a sure shot. Yes, uh, only because of uh, of uh, yes of this double top. So um, yes, you see, it was a doji. If I wouldn't have entered here above the closing price of the previous candle in uh, in the put, yes, I would have been out of the money. But uh, because I know this kind of tricky market, and I have seen also here the change of polarity now here, yes, I entered here into a put after the rejection because this area here is acting as support and resistance too, yes. And uh, yes, and now I was sure the price after this kind of evening star, this small, that is what I have explained in the ebook. Uh, about the uh, deep explanation video about if after such kind of candle you get such kind of weak candle you can expect that the downtrend will continue and that's the reason why I entered here immediately into a put because I understood that this was only a retracement of this upcoming downtrend. So now we broke the neckline and that is how you have to trade the um, double top. Yes, we broke the neckline and now uh, you wait to a price or that price will get back to this level here to the neckline or you enter immediately like I have done this here yes it was not the best case to trade but because we have here high volume yes and uh, and uh, the, the candle after the breakout uh, of this neckline is mostly a huge candle I entered immediately because I was expecting that price will continue to going down because the distance here is great you see between the, um, the middle Bollinger band and the two deviation is so far way yes that you can do this kind of trade but normally to be really sure you should wait that price touch this level here this neckline and then got a rejection uh, below the 20 and the 50 EMA but because there was a 50 and the 20 EMA it to a price was not able to go up again and so it gone down immediately yes that is also important here we got the confluence of all those kinds of things together okay so that was already if you like this video do a like if you didn't subscribe subscribe to my channel and if you have something to say drop me a line in the comment section so I would say stay safe and bye bye